Welcome to today's vlog where I take you guys along to IKEA, one of my favorite shops to get some affordable interior things, furniture and stuff. So upon arriving I walked straight to this table arrangement. I like the table actually. I'm on the hunt for a new table. This one was retailing for 129. It was on promotion on that day and they're using it in this instance as a dining table but i think it can also be used as a desk actually and i checked it out it was pretty wide and long it would really work actually as a dining table or as a desk Didn't find the kitchen so interesting so I moved on to the next there was this glamorous setup in here kind of feminine actually very feminine because of the colors in there the pinks and it was kind of romantic because of the dark hues I guess and comforting I like that comforter it looked nice could also work in a boys room by the way because of the geometric pattern and then came the bathroom and that's me hello those overhead lights were pretty nice I found them quite bright took a peep inside I like the way they organized here it doesn't look organized of course but those cubes make organization easier it's a pity that my own vanity doesn't have that I always like to look inside the drawers because sometimes they have some pretty good storage solutions in there like these cubes by the way, stay tuned for storage organization video coming to you guys. Then there was this little setup. Didn't find it interesting, so I just went past it, obviously. Another feminine setup. I liked this changing station for a baby, quite practical it looks and quite simple as well. And then the rest of the parents room and the little cot. Again I had to look in the wardrobe to see what kind of options they had in there. It didn't really look interesting so. And that's me again actually I'm making a voiceover but I was speaking over this audio unfortunately somehow it didn't work and I didn't know so voiceover it is it's a pity because I think I had a lot of observations as I was there in person and then came this living room which I find quite interesting it has a lot of gallery walls in fact the entire walls are just pictures and displays I think in the right setting that could actually look good just like like a gentleman's bar you know those places usually have this kind of vibe but with dark walls so very moody I also like this clock I usually don't like clocks but that was cute so yeah I think with a moody palette and a leather sofa all the walls being filled with gallery pictures this would really look good I also like this little bar so we are or rather we were in a search for a bar but we got that already and there was this little setup but again you know a very large gallery wall might be a bit distracting 
I like the ledge idea there. So there's that three legged lamp. I think there's a place for it. This sofa already looks tired. <laughs> it looks old. And it's still in store. I don't know if it's a good idea to get it. So I did like the color scheme. It was quite nice, I guess. But it's not my style. Is it your style? I like their layered uh, arrangements. It looks very curated, you know. Actually, I might try this next time. I really like that. A lot. You guys won't believe what I just saw. This is the Sodenham so far. But it looks so different and it looks so better with this cover. What? I need this. Do you guys see what I'm saying? This is really amazing. Wait, I need a close up with this. I need to try it out. I really need to try it out. I even checked out under it. It looked good. I was really like, what? How much is it? It was a little bit expensive, so I didn't end up taking it, but on a good day, I'll definitely grab this. You guys, do you see this so far? Like what? It really looks firm, and I like how modular it looks. And also the color. But I'm not too sure how comfortable it would be sitting there. And then there was this little bright orange little accent chair. I found it cute and adorable to be honest. And it would provide the pop of color that you might want in your living room if you have um, neutral colors. And for $1.99, I think it's kind of a steal. I was trying to get it into focus but it didn't work so I gave up. And then I walked over and found this bookcase and it kind of looked built in but it wasn't but what really impressed me was the color I really loved it it looks very rich in color and then there was this little window seat and actually it looks built in but it's not it's just a bester cabinet with cushions on top very genius right this is what I wanted to do with my old dining table but that's a story for another day I like how they did it here with the plants and it really feels like you're bringing the outside indoors and because it's a window set it makes total sense. I was quite surprised that IKEA has you know some traditional looking furniture like this one and I actually tried it out. It felt firm. I think it wouldn't lose shape and I like the color too. And behind this, there was also this granny chic style kind of sofa. Not my style, but I know the style was trending. So if you like that, you know where to get your sofa. And then I saw these cubicles. I thought that they looked cute and very textural. You could easily slide them in to a bookshelf or just mount them on the wall like this on their own. I like that for a bathroom or whatever, you know, 35 fuel. That's really reasonable. And the smaller one for 30. Now we're in the dining section. Oh my gosh, look at this little setup. How cute is that? Really giving boho. The chairs were 99 and the table. I thought that chair really nice. That wicker look very cute. Yes, 99 euro. That's a steal. Paired together with the dark wood round table. 
you could easily fit that in a small space or in a small little dining nook and the arrangement honestly there's a really nothing i would change about this really liked it perhaps the legs yes maybe the legs but overall it was nice let's check out the chairs i like this one spindle back you know for a traditional look that would work well They have a large variety of chairs in different styles, Scandinavian, modern, traditional. I loved this setup. I really did. I might just try it on my next dinner party. I'll keep you guys posted how it goes. You guys, I loved this table. It's oval. It's giving all the right things actually I would say it's rectangular with rounded edges it's not really oval and the bench feels really coupled well together it works for a modern look which is a bit dark love it but navigation out of this bench would prove to be very difficult the bench was going for $2.99 and I think for three people to sit that's all right but actually you could easily fit four but that would be kind of tight i liked it now i love these extended kitchen islands because then you could be cooking over there and your husband or your children could be writing homework over here and on the other side you could easily file but i don't know how your files would hold up I like this teacup. I thought it was nice and looking natural. If I had space in my kitchen, I would definitely have gotten one. I liked these as well. They matched with that little cup before. Would make a nice set. You know, when you have your friends over or even just for a casual day at home. You don't always need to enjoy your nice things when you have people over, right? I'm not too sure how I feel about dark dining wear. I think I prefer it light. But either way, it looks good. Of course, I want to take all these wine glasses home. You know me and glasses. These ones are quite cool to serve as sorbet or something like that. These look small, but they're actually huge. A wine decal looks nice but i don't think it's necessary honestly i like serving wine from the bottle how about you now let's head off to the textile section and see what we find I usually find this section kind of limited and boring, but once in a while you do find some good ones, like this one. It looked interesting from afar. Of course, the colors are available, but overall the textiles are just not versatile enough. Let's go over this section and see what we find. This curtain really caught my eye. I like it when my curtains have a bit of pattern, but unfortunately the colors of these won't go with my living room. But this one on the other hand, I liked it too, but then again, 
it's green but it is really nice and it would bring some interest in my living room it's a pity <laughs> look how i kept on coming back to it and for 24.99 that's a steal anywho we move let's see what we find in the other color section they were all playing there was this pleated one found it quite charming but i was after a pattern so that didn't help now we're in the bed section I normally like my bedding to be neutral. That way I can easily mix and match stuff. So yeah, all of these wouldn't be an option for me, basically. And now we slowly get over and closer to the neutral section and as you can see some things are starting to be of interest to me it's okay when things have pattern like this but overall it has to be neutral I think that's the most important thing for me I like this bathroom organization thing. I really think that it would make a difference for all those. Let's check out what they have in the carpet section. I like this jute truck. I think under a dining table it would work great. It's easy to clean even if someone has a spill on it. And it's big enough. I also liked this one, very nice. And that one also, it's a deep power one. A couple of cuties here. So we're towards the end here. That's me again with a couple of things that I picked up. And this is our bathroom mirror. You'll see the reveal soon. I love it. And all different kind of mirrors. Some traditional ones, some boho ones, some modern ones. I think there's a choice for everyone. I like these ones with the black ring. Very traditional style. And then some more modern and simpler ones. Also less expensive. And that's about it, guys.